Hello everyone and welcome to the first YouTube video of this channel. So this is actually my first ever YouTube video on this channel. This is just gonna be a quick tutorial on how to make a quick and simple 2D player controller script. So let's just jump right in. Uh, this player sprite it doesn't really have anything. It's just a quick a uh, square. I named it ground for some odd reason, but it's right here. It's a uh, it's a square. I just made it right here, and I added some eyes to our character just to give him a bit of character. And I made the eyes higher order layer than the player, so it actually shows. And I quickly just added them into the scene, just quickly dragged them and dropped them right here, and then duplicated them with Control D. And I made two ground uh, platforms. All right, so to make a player controller script, a 2D player controller script, in fact, is a pretty easy task. It's not that hard. You can just open Visual Studio, you can just go to Assets, right click, go to Create, and go to Create C Sharp Script. Now you should know C Sharp programming when you want to start making games, you should start learning C Sharp programming. Now if you don't know C Sharp programming and you want to build off your first game, I advise you to just go down to the description and, and go to the Udemy course I made for game dev. Now in that course will create a fully fledged 2D Angry Bird like game in like a couple of hours and it has a bonus course too so if you're interested just check it out but if you don't want to spend any money just watch these free YouTube videos you're also welcome to do that now let's just name this player controller this name right here should be the exact same name as it is right here now what you want to do is you want to go inside of the uh, Visual Studio code editor and actually you want to delete these two because they're just comments, they're not really important. And you want to add a public variable, public speed, public float variable, public float variable, and we'll call it a speed variable. Let's save it. And let's call the rigid body 2D function. Now we haven't added it inside there just yet. Or you know what? Let's just delete this and let's go right here and let's add it first. So right here in our player, be sure you have selected the player uh, option, not the eyes options. If you have any eyes, that is. Uh, player. And select the box collider 2D. And also select the rigid body 2D. Now a rigid body 2D is basically just physics. You're just adding a physics, uh, a physics simulation. So you'll be adding gravity to your player. The box collider is uh, well. Basically, you're just making, you're just telling your game that you wanna, you want this body to collide with other colliders. So now, if we play the platforms, he should stick on the platform. Now, if we play, it should just collide with the platform and just stand on it. Okay. So why is that really? Because we forgot to add one right here, a box collider 2D, right here and a box collider 2D right here. Now, when I see most students, I see them actually making a mistake and then calling the both of these and then adding a box collider to the two of them just to make it a shortcut, but not really, because if you do this, it'll make a joint box collider 2D, and I don't think that's a good idea. It'll just make a really big box collider 2D, so I don't think that's a good idea. I just want this to be a separate platform than this. Now, if we play, this should stick. Alright, very cool. Now, then again, just remember to never, ever, ever add to your platforms rigid body 2Ds. Because r I remember when I started, I added rigid bodies to the two of these platforms, and the platforms just fell. Which was really expected, but I didn't really know what was the problem. So just f remember to not add rigid bodies to your platforms. Now, back into our script. We added a public float speed. We had we haven't saved the uh, the script, so that's why there are yellow uh, lines right here, because we haven't saved these uh, places right here. And let's add a rigid body 2D. Let's call it, and let's name it as RB. Sorry, RB for short. Now then again, just remember to add a rigid body 2D and not a rigid body. A rigid body, the normal rigid body. There are two types the rigid body right here and the rigid body 2D. The rigid body right here is for 3D uh, objects 
the rigid body 2D is for 2D objects. Same thing with the box collider. There are two types of box colliders. The box collider 2D and the box collider. Well, I had... I advise you to just choose the box collider 2D when making a 2D game because that's just like normal common sense, come on. And now right here, rigid body RB. Now let's just save this. Let's go to start and let's call the get component RB equals get component. And let's call it a rigid body 2D. We'll get the components rigid body 2D. So save this. So what this will do is right here one second come on yeah so right here the rigid body component these are called components this is called the inspector window uh, every object has an inspector window it has a transform uh, it, it, it always always had a, has a transform component or every single object in our 2d game or 3d game has a transform component these are all called components when you want to call a component you just type in uh, get component, get component RB equals get component rigid body 2D. What you could do is you could just get component and then add in here a rigid body 2D and then dot and then blah 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 right in here, whatever you want to do. But to make things way easier, you could just RB dot and choose whatever you want get components, uh, fixed angle. These are just to play around with our, uh, our components. Very cool. Now we called the RB get component rigid body 2D. Now and we called the rigid body 2D right here, and we added a speed variable. Now we want actually. Now what we want to do is whenever we uh, click on these right uh, or left arrow keys or the D and A arrow keys, we want to move. So how can we do that? Actually, it's really simple. Okay, so now let's just add a float. And let's call it input with a uh, small you can just I advise you to do uh, what I advise you to do is just change these names right here because because well whenever uh, I tend to learn something in unity or programming in general a common mistake I fall into is I copy the exact names of uh, my teacher and what happens is that I just turn into a monkey see monkey do mode so I really just don't understand anything at all. So I just advise you to change these names. This is a variable, a float variable. I'm just gonna call it input. Call it something else, please. So you could learn way better. Trust me. Float input equals input with a capital I. Input dot get axis. There are two types of get axis. The get axis raw uh, is basically get axis is just to make things way better to understand. Get axis is well, not very uh, exact in its calculations when creating a platformer game, a 2D platform game to be exact. Uh, you want your calculations and your you want your movements to be very exact. So get axis. Uh, I advise you to use get axis raw because it's way more exact. That's the best way I can uh, I can uh, like uh, explain it. But it's not really important. Get axis raw. You can just experiment around with get axis and get axis raw and see what you find. Get axis raw and a capital H horizontal. And then add in here a semicolon just to end this command. So float input equals input with a capital I. This is the variable name input. Just change this name if you want just to make things better, better to understand. Uh, equals input dot get axis raw horizontal. All right, so now rb dot velocity. Remember the get component. You could type in here. You know what? I'll just type in here. Get component. To add in here two curl uh, two uh, open brackets and close brackets. Get component. Sorry, not get components. <laughs> Rigid body 2D. And a two curly brackets dot velocity you could type this an easier way to type this because we made an RB equals get component which is body 2d a way easier way to type this is just RB oops RB dot velocity very simple a very straight to the point that's why we use this RB equals get component with body 2d RB dot velocity equals new vector 2 
and add in two curly brackets. This is going to be the first one is going to be for the x, the second one is going to be for the y. We want the x uh, position to be input, which is this little. Uh, just make sure for uh, make sure this is a small letter right here. The first one is small, and right here this first one is small. Not the capital. The capital is this one. Input times times put times speed and we didn't specify what speed is we're gonna specify what speed is inside the unity editor we made it public so that's why we made it public and not private you can make it private private and add in the public float speed equals for example 20 f as in float but we're not gonna do that we're gonna add this inside of the editor so actually public public float speed new vector 2 input time speed and then add in the y position as just 0 and then just save it very easy very straight to the point now let's go back into unity and let's check it out let's just test it out now let's play and now if we go left oops now if we go left why is that oh yeah add components and you forgot to add the player controller components what you could do is you could just basically uh, take this and add it into the player right here always as we can see it added it right here but another way to do this is just add component and search for your script very cool now the speed I'm gonna make the speed something like 20 or I think 20 is a bit too much something like 7 and change the and that's basically it let's just play and let's see what happens if we play our player just basically just doesn't really uh, he falls down very slowly what we can do to counteract this is just basically make the gravity scale something like um, I don't know something like I guess something like 10 is good or 9.8 is basically the same amount of like calculation but I guess I'm gonna just make it 10 because uh, well, why not you know why not very cool it goes left and right. You can basically just play around with the speed. Maybe go here and, for example, go to create uh, physics material 2D. Make this player, call this player, and make the friction something like zero, just for you to uh, slide a bit. Maybe just add it right here to the player. Maybe play and see what will happen. <laughs> if you play, oops, what? Oh yeah, and a very critical uh, change, just don't change it inside the play mode or else it will just disappear because I made this 10 and it disappeared so just don't make, remember to don't make any big changes and uh, as we can see right here the box collider it's added right here as a material now if we play basically just play around with the uh, bounciness or the friction or really just play around and just Discover, just basically discover. I'm gonna delete this because I'm really don't gonna, I'm not gonna need it. I'm gonna save my project and also uh, save this because why not? And I'm gonna end this video right here. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Comment back any feedback you want and that's basically it. See you in the next one. Cheers.